Ramadan Picks. Brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, and welcome to another episode of Ramadan Picks. Today is a very, very special day in Islam, the 17th of Ramadan. This blessed month, I hope you all, inshallah, enjoying this month and spiritually improving with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Today, the 17th of Ramadan rings a very, very important bell for all of us. The day of the battle of Badr, the battle where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave victory to the believers for the first time in such a battle at such a, on such a level with the enemies of deen who are fighting against the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, against the word of Allah and the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In this blessed day that is called Yawmul Furqan, the day of Furqan, the day where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave victory for truth over batil and falsehood. This very, very special day, this day of Badr, has a very, very interesting story behind it. Today, inshallah, we'll brief you a bit on some of the history relating to this battle. Sahaba, as you know, the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with the leader, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, for years were persecuted in Mecca, tortured, you know, for their religion because they're worshipping none other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then after this, the migration happened. Still, all of these years, 13 years in Mecca and approximately two years in Medina or a year and a half in Medina, the Muslims were ordered by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to not attack back or retaliate. Rather, it was a very, very, very simple reaction. Kuffu aydiyakum. Anyone harms you, hold your hands and do not retaliate. After approximately 15 years of prophethood, the order and permission came from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that believers now are allowed to retaliate and allowed to defend themselves and their religion. So the Sahaba radiyallahu anhum with the leader Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam decided and plotted the first retaliation, the first attack, and it was a planned attack on the caravan of Abu Sufyan. At the time, radiyallahu anhu, of course, later converted to Islam. So he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and his companions, we all know the famous trip that Quraysh, uh, Quraysh's economy was based on, the trip between Quraysh in Hijaz and Sham in, in Syria, Palestine, Jordan and Lebanon and these areas, subhanallah. This, this uh, 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 caravan, was a very, very important economic, uh, you know, economic event for Quraysh every single year. So the Sahaba radiallahu anhum with the leader Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam decided to attack this caravan, ambush this caravan. However, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had a, better, a bigger and better plan. He subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, uh, uh, allowed that Abu Sufyan, the leader of the caravan, to find out the plan of the Muslims. So Abu Sufyan, sent a messenger to Quraysh, took a different route and uh, informed Quraysh that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his companions are planning an attack. He evaded the Muslims and a prepared army of 1,000 soldiers from Quraysh was uh, facing the Muslims now. Subhanallah, the Sahaba radiallahu anhu were not prepared. Maybe a caravan will have 20 soldiers or 10 soldiers for protection, but now they are facing 1,000 soldiers prepared a prepared army, prepared military, and he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and his companions, maybe only have one horse, a couple of swords, and the rest of the Sahaba, radiallahu anhum, are not prepared. What do we do at the time? Do we return to Medina? Do we go and fight? A very, very hard test the Sahaba, radiallahu anhum, found themselves in. However, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, sharah sudurum, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comforted their hearts. And wallahi, a miracle happened for Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 313 companions were not prepared for war, not prepared for a proper army, were fighting now 1,000 soldiers. And Allah's victory descended. And Allah's help came. And the angels, subhanallah, they descended on the battlefield for the first time and fought and fought with the Muslims. You know, who fought with the Muslims, We're giving Nusra to the deen of Allah and victory to the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. An amazing event, subhanallah, a, a, a show, a sign of connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and reliance on Allah, the Sahaba radiallahu anhum, with the very, very, very small preparation, defeated the batil because of the reliance on Allah, defeated the corruption, defeated the planning of the kuffar and the enemies of deen, 
an amazing result. 70 leaders of Quraysh, including Abu Jahl, you know, the enemy, the biggest enemy of Islam, were killed in this, on this battlefield. And only a few Sahaba radiallahu anhum were martyred. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the Muslims the victory. He promised them and was a big lesson. big lesson for every believer after this that when you rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never lets you down a day to remember especially in this blessed month the 17th of Ramadan we should all know about it and teach our children our friends about the importance and relevance of this day in our life I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from those who practice what they say and he نسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى أن يجعلنا من الذين يستمعون القول ويتبعون أحسنه سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك وجزاكم الله خيرا